If you've got a new iPhone or iPad, there are several ways to get it set up, but our favorite is to set it up from a backup of your old device. This is Allison from Computers.Mom, and in this video I'm going to show you how. It's not difficult, but there are a lot of little steps you have to do in the right order. So let's walk through this together, and then I'll recap at the end for your convenience. You need three things to set up an iPhone or iPad from a backup. One, the device you want to set up, obviously. Two, a computer onto which you have previously saved the backup of your old device. If you haven't created the backup yet, we explain that process in detail in the video linked above, so you might want to start there. Also, we assume in this video that you're using a Mac that is up to date and running Catalina, but we will also provide the steps for PCs and Macs running Mojave and older versions of the operating system, just in case. And third, a cable to connect the device to the Mac. Which cable you need is also covered in the backup video. You'll also want to make sure you have your Apple ID and password handy, your Wi-Fi network information, and if you have an Apple Watch, unpair it from the old device before you start. So let's dive in. Turn on your new device and you'll see the quick start screen, which tells you to bring your old device close to the new one to set it up wirelessly. While you can choose to do it that way, in my experience that approach is both slower and less reliable than setting it up from a backup. So instead, click Set Up Manually and then walk through the initial steps in the screens that follow, including things like connecting to your Wi-Fi network, agreeing to the terms and conditions, setting up Face ID or Touch ID, and a passcode for this device. You can also skip those steps and do them later if you prefer but we strongly recommend that you do use a passcode of some kind on your device. Even a simple four-digit passcode is safer than nothing. Eventually, you'll get to this screen, the Apps and Data page, where you have a choice of how to set up the new device. Restoring from an iCloud backup is also an option here, but that will be much slower than restoring from a backup on the computer, so choose the second option, Restore from a Mac or PC. Now we're finally ready, as you can see, to connect your device to the computer. Plug in the cable from your computer to your device and then go to your computer. If you're using a Mac that's up to date, open a Finder window from the dock right here. On a PC or a Mac with Mojave or an older operating system, open iTunes instead. Your device should appear under Locations in the sidebar on the left. If you don't see it, try clicking Show next to Locations right here or check that the cable is plugged in properly on both ends. If you're using iTunes, you'll see it under Devices instead of Locations. When you see your device in the sidebar, click on it. If this is the first time you're connecting this device to this computer, you'll see a prompt to trust the device. So click Trust on the computer and then go to your iPhone or iPad and click Trust there as well. And you may be prompted to enter your passcode. Once the computer and the device have permission to communicate with each other, you're ready to click on Restore Backup. The most recent backup is pre-selected right here. If you need to select a different backup, click the arrows right here to see if you have other backup files available. Click Continue. If your backup is encrypted, enter the password and then click Restore. The restore process begins and it will take some time depending on the size of the backup and the speed of the various devices. Your device will restart and then sync with your computer, so don't disconnect it yet. While it does, it will disappear from Finder or iTunes. When it's all finished syncing, you will see your device in the Finder or iTunes window again with an eject button like this. As always, be sure to click eject and wait for the device to disappear before you physically disconnect it from the computer. If you don't eject it and you just pull it off, you risk doing damage to your device. Your device is now 95% set up, but notice that apps and data will continue to download and install and you may be prompted to enter a password for certain apps and settings. So we're done. Here's a quick recap for convenience because that was a lot of steps. On the device, choose Set Up Manually and complete the initial setup steps. On the Apps and Data page, when you get to it, click Restore from a Mac or PC. Connect the device to your computer with the appropriate cable. Open a Finder window or iTunes, depending on your computer. Select your device and click Restore from a Backup. Select the backup file and click Restore. Wait for the device to restart and finish syncing, eject before disconnecting, and then finish up on the device as needed. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments and questions below. Click like if you found this helpful and be sure to subscribe for more Computers.Mom videos.